Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I am going to be sharing a blog about late night studies at Vilnius University. First of all, I would like to thank Vilnius University because everything, every lab equipment and every culture and the broth and everything that I'm showing in this video belongs to Vilnius University and I'm just a PhD student. I am showing the experiments that I do but everything belongs to Williams University. So nothing is owned by me, it is not my lab, it is just Williams University lab where I am working as a PhD student and carrying out my research. Okay, now enough of talking and let's go to my lab where I will be doing my experiments, but uh, due to the confidential uh, paper signed by me i cannot tell you what i am doing in particular but uh, i would find something else like picking up some small experiments and uh, taking up the cultures that i grew one or two days before and just to show you around what is happening in the lab and different apparatus in the lab so let's go to the lab and do some experiments so i just wanted to show you guys that these are the different uh, Tubes. This is a cultural tube and inside it is 10 ml of MRS broth which is specially used for culturing probiotics. As my research lies on the topic of probiotics, so I widely use MRS broth and agar. This is the cold room of Williams University. I have shown it before in my videos and I'm just gonna collect the plates and these are the probiotics that I have been growing and I'm gonna use them for doing different characterization steps and these are the different probiotic collection that I have. And here are the test tubes and I usually use the culture test tubes because I like to grow them in these kind of secured calf with the screw and uh, there are different uh, test tubes where you can just uh, have a round uh, rim and that is flat and you can just put the uh, cap to this rim and use it for different uh, microbiology experiments and it's very easy because you can just remove the cap and then secure it back so this is the laminar box and uh, I'm just gonna turn on the UV light because I want my laminar box to be sterile before I carry out any experiment and I am just going to inoculate the single cells single cultures from these plates and then putting them in the MRS broth and letting them grow for 24 hours Before starting an experiment, it's necessary that you spray yourself with rubbing alcohol and not to cause any contamination while working in the laminar airflow.
after I have inoculated all the single cultures, I'm just going to gently vortex it so that any uh, culture that has been clustered will just spread around and the bacteria will take up the broth much faster and multiply much better. My culture tubes are ready that have been inoculated with the single cultures and I have named them. I'm just going to place them in the incubator. So I'm placing these probiotics in 35 or 37 degrees Celsius. It's totally fine. But these cultures need this temperature. But you can change the uh, temperature according to the cultures that you are using sometimes E. coli likes 30 degrees Celsius so I just want to place my cultures and these are the cultures from previous studies that I was working on and you can see that there in the bottom there is the culture and you can see that they are so beautifully grown I grew them yesterday and this is how they look so I'm just going to do a simple experiment where I am going to be checking the cell density after 24 hours and uh, I have a cultural tube that is with the growth of the lactic acid bacteria and I have a simple tube which is without the growth of lactic acid bacteria and it will be acting as blank. So over here, I have this cell density meter. So I'm just gonna take this one and all you have to do is turn it on and you can see that there is no reading. So I place this and I do this. This tells us the blank. So the blank is obviously zero. And to check if there was any growth of these bacteria, so I'm just gonna take this one, this tube, with the dense growth of lactic acid bacteria and I'm just going to place it and I'm going to just click on this one to see the reading and over here you can see the reading is 2.00 which is quite high it means that these cells have grown very well in 37 degrees celsius after 24 hours so this gives a confirmation that this broth is very much suitable for lactic acid bacteria and its growth now I have these uh, two epidrops that are filled with the culture that I showed you before uh, with the gigantic and a huge number of bacterial growth in it and I just put like 1.5 ml in these two epidrops and I'm just going to centrifuge it and make sure that whenever you're centrifuging something you need to have the epidrops or test tubes of equal volume because they go in the opposite direction and they need to be in the equal volume if you don't put it in the equal volume the chances of this machine to shake is high and apparently it won't centrifuge that accurately as you want it so I'm just placing the one vial over here and the another vial goes. So you can see that these both are in the opposite direction. Then take the cap and screw it. You need to screw it very tightly. Yeah, it's tight. Just check it once and turn on the machine. And once you place the cap, it's supposed to close like this. And then you can see that it is for 30 seconds you can arrange it the way you want so I'm just gonna go for like 10,000 uh, RCF and uh, okay just arranging it as I want it nice and I'm gonna say like five minutes and then you need to press the start button and it automatically starts by changing the rotation per minute numbers. What do I really do to avoid sleeping is that I, I just read some books, I just read some uh, 
theory books that I have, which is definitely for few people. They will be like telling me that, oh, you know, we do sleep when we are reading. So it's not the case. If you are reading something of your own interest, let's say I have a huge interest in biology subjects. So if I'm reading a book related to biology, it won't make you sleepy. So apparently, what you have interest in and you are reading about it so it won't make you sleepy at all let's imagine that you do the experiment at 10 a.m in the morning and the incubation time for the bacterial growth is for 12 hours so you have to come at 10 p.m to do the analysis so apparently if you finish the experiment let's say in the afternoon time so sometimes you have to come at night time really late night time i was really having challenge doing it for the first time so i started to play around in the lab and do other experiments and just keep myself awake one tip to tell you guys if you are doing a late night experiment don't drink coffee trust me if you drink coffee at night time just to stay awake and just to be awake and be doing your experiments or any other task, it is just gonna make it worse. Your sleep schedule will be really messed up. And second, you will be very, very hyperactive. You don't want that kind of energy at nighttime because nighttime is supposed to be for sleeping and the melatonin levels are high. So coffee has the tendency to drop the melatonin level and probably your body will be affected by it and your biological cycle might also get affected. First thing that you have to understand being a PhD student is that without motivation and hard work, it is impossible to complete your PhD. You need to have an aim and you need to work towards that aim. And that is when you can successfully complete your PhD. I have done numerous experiments at night time. I know it was difficult, but I tried to find an alternative to keep myself awake and get my job done. If we act lazy and if we don't do the time management properly, of course, we're going to face a lot of difficulty in PhD. If you don't do your task on time, then it will get delayed and it will keep delaying. And apparently you will see that the PhD flies so fast. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with your friends and family. And that would be a great, great support from you guys. I hope that you are enjoying all the series of the vlog that I'm making. So suggest in the comments below that what do you want to see next? And I will make that video for you guys. So till then, bye, see you and take care.